Okay, Dad, uh, this is for you. I wanted to show you uh, this whole process here to press the rod onto the pin using my neat little handy dandy jig. Um, got my piston here. This is uh, the old number three. And I, what I did was I took the pins and I put them through, um, uh, made sure uh, each one had the same amount of uh, tightness. I don't know if that makes a big difference, but I uh, felt like I was doing the right thing doing it. Um, I uh, numbered the pins and uh, pistons, and I'm also putting in, uh, making sure I got the right rod. Uh, that's number three, connecting rod. And i uh, got a, my little heating station, and I'll put my piston inside my neat little jig I made. Pull that back, set that in there, and line up the the where the, the pin goes with the bolt so I know that that mating surface is flat. Pull that all in there. Perfect. Okay. As you can see, this is an old connecting rod, but it does not fit. There's no way that baby's going in there either way. This old one does happen to fit that new piston there, just to give an example of what kind of movement we need to do on that metal. Okay, I'm going to use this here torch. I wanted to get everything on on the camera, but this is definitely a two-handed job. So I got it down into this 12-ton uh, press here. So I got the piston mounted in there nice, and I got the rod here. This is the uh, one of the cracked heads that I had. It's a 240. Would have been nice to use this head because it's uh, the 240 head fits perfectly on the 306, and um, uh, you get higher compression with that. So this has about three or four cracks. Is when we stopped looking for cracks. So I got this transmission plate uh, off the back of the 72 motor, and uh, I got it clamped down here using the 12-ton jack, just pressing down on the on the jig that I made, and uh, that way I got a nice elevated surface, uh, it doesn't really move around very much, maybe a little bit of a wiggle. I'm just heating up the end of the rod here. I heat this end up first till it gets nice and really hot, maybe even a little bit red. I don't know if that does anything to the metal. Uh, probably not. I think it's cast iron. And uh, so after I get this end hot, I'll move to the inside and get that end hot. So it kind of heats up the end of the, rock, the, the shaft, actual shaft there. And then I'll move from here back out to there, and I'll also flip it over just to make sure we got all of our bases covered with good even heating. I got the pin over in the bag of ice. It's uh, the pin is inside its own plastic bag, so it doesn't get wet with the ice and the condensation. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine coming off there, but uh, I just don't want that variable. Hitting the end of the rod there. This will be the last one that I did. I already got the six other one, or the five other ones off from the cooling down over there.
end of the rod is still pretty cool. You know, the heat doesn't transfer very well to the, to the cast iron. I think I'm probably heating it, you know, to overkill, but um, I like a little bit of extra time that you get when it when it's really nice and big. Inevitably, you run into some sort of problem where uh, you didn't get the rod just where you needed it, or you know the pin hangs up going through the other side of the piston. Get my gloves on because uh, when this rod goes vertical straight up and down it gets hot. Coming out of the ice, I can feel it wiggling a teeny tiny bit inside that, that piston. So we're almost going to be ready here. I appreciate you letting me borrow your torch here. I'm just going to check and make sure I have the number on the rod going the right direction that I want it to. This is number three. We're good. Well, it's got to be number three. It's the last one I got. And uh, we're going to shut it down here. And this goes in just like... Like that. Make sure the rod is pushed all the way over. Hold everything in place for a second. Heat transfers from that pin really fast. See how it's like stuck up right here? That pin got hot and so it's pressing on the inside of the piston and any second it's going to drop down as the piston starts to warm up. And uh, we'll watch it do that here. You know it's uh, warming up, not cooling down. There it goes. Okay. That's about it. Next thing is uh, rings, and that's that's all going to be by hand. Uh, life's lesson all here. Let's make sure my alignment's good. Put the rod in about the middle, and it's looking pretty good. The uh, pin is sticking out about even on either side, and uh, looks like I got myself a real wing dinger there. Thanks again for the. Uh, for the torch and the uh, and the genetics. <laughs>